Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this super lovely, not lovely, super lovely uh, square, lacy square, you can work s anything you imagine, anything you want you can work with this square, uh, it's um, lacy, it's nice, it's perfect in wool, it's perfect in cotton, it's perfect in any kind of um, yarn, um, beautiful, three three color combination I think it's just enough but you can put four if you want anyway I choose these colors but there are so many uh, colors that you can choose so it's a um, it's a um, square that I found on the internet on Pinterest I think uh, and I save it in my uh, computer because I said oh my gosh this is <laughs> this is you know something like the square or the square mo motif it's wonderful wonderful and what can I say it's not very difficult for the first uh, five rounds afterwards it's a little bit more difficult but nothing to frighten us obvious uh, I will explain you round by round and you will see that uh, you can do it in my group I will put the the, um, the graphic also so you can uh, take it from there you know the group on Facebook that I have is crochet with Juana and um, you have the link below of the tutorial so you can uh, subscribe to to my group I would be so very happy to have you there you are uh, so very welcomed so I will put the the graphic there and actually I will create a, a uh, kind of um, document with all the graphics that I find on the internet and I, I like to do the tutorial so you you can have them there oops <laughs> so you can you can have them there okay so let's get started I will put it here uh, and I will uh, follow along obvious because as I said uh, it's not easy it's not difficult but neither easy <laughs> okay so these are the three colors that I work with let's get started with the uh, magic loop I worked with 3.5 millimeters hook uh, chain uh, 3.5 millimeters hook you can use 3 3.5 any kind uh, again uh, from uh, uh, somewhere from 3 to uh, 4 millimeters hook now I chained one I will insert hook around and pull up a loop for the first triple crochet because we begin with um, 16 triple crochets into the first round and they chain one in between so uh, pull up a loop so we have a kind of single crochet but this is not the single crochet this is the first stitch as I work it now insert hook through this first loop pull up a loop again we have two loops and pull through two we go one more time like this and now yarn over then pinch here the yarn pull through two like this okay now this is the way I am working the double crochet, first double crochet or the first um, triple crochet. Uh, it's a very nice, okay this is three and I think I can put one more. Okay and this is the last and now I will chain yarn over twice and work my actually my fine my first double crochet uh, the triple crochet and chain and work the second so actually this is the third because we already worked the beginning one okay and I will just work like this chain one and double uh, triple crochet all around the the magic loop until I will have 16 so we need 16 and chain one in between don't forget to chain one in between okay and this is the very first round chain one as I said the first five rounds are really easy chain one and triple crochet are really easy so you don't have to worry so I finished my very first round I also cut the yarn because we need to uh, switch to the other color uh, so I have 16 triple crochets and I also have uh, 16 chain one space now uh, 
insert hook into your double triple the first one and just like this pull the loop through and now to begin we will single crochet in this round so I take the tail and yarn over with the tail pinch it here and yarn over pull through two and now I have my first single crochet into the chain one I will work two more and of course I am working the tails into the triple single crochet into the chain one two single crochets so this is the second round so very easy and one and two and just go ahead and work all around like this I am about to finish I'm working into the last chain one space two single crochets and now insert hook into the first and slip stitch to join on we will continue on with the same color the for the third round we will double crochet into the first stitch two and three and chain three and now we will skip two single crochets into the third double crochet chain three and we will continue like this so the double crochet must be into the single crochet on the top of the uh, triple crochet of the first row round sorry so double crochet chain three and then it's this one double crochet chain three and we will finish up with 16 double crochet and 16 chain three spaces and then we will cut the yarn because the next round it's the round number fourth will be worked with another color so I finished my third round let us begin with the fourth round I switch to another color the third color that I will use slip knot insert hook into one of your chain three space and let's get started with the first um, cluster we will work the cluster with the triple crochet four triple crochet uh, this is the first and this is the second and three is more than enough yarn over two times and work the second yarn over two times and work the third of course we won't close them because we want to obtain a cluster and the fourth we have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through all chain to secure and chain four yarn over two times and uh, we will continue into the next chain three space with one two three four triple crochets yarn over that we close together this is how chain four this is how we will actually continue on so it's one two three you don't close them four okay close them together chain to secure plus chain four one two three four actually okay so go ahead and work all around your one two three fourth round so let's get started i already cut the yarn because we will change again the color uh, let's get started with the most difficult um round the fifth round it's the round where we worked this actually these petals i can say okay so this is what you see here in pink is just one round okay it's not this one and then this one it's just one round let me show you how to work it i will work it in this white so insert hook into the chain four space and work 
in it four, uh, sorry, five single crochets. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Now skip into the next and work five single crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Now stop here and we will work the first arch, the first petal, let's say. So to work the petal we will chain 10, 11, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We will turn our work and in between the 5 and the 5 single crochet, so here somewhere, insert hook and slip stitch to join the 11 uh, chains. Now turn again with the front side facing you and around this chain 11 you will just work 18 single crochets. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, we have 4 more, 14, 15, 16, 17, and the last one, 18. Okay, we have it, and put it like this. Okay, we have it. 18 single crochets all around. Now, we will repeat what we did so far all around. So chain 5 into the next, uh, uh, chain 4 space, 1, I'm trying to work over the tails too, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Chain 5 over the next chain 4 space, uh, sorry, a 5 single crochet over the next chain 4 space. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Stop here and work over this one uh, your arch. So, chain 11, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and turn your work. In between 5 and 5 single crochets, insert hook and slip stitch to join. Turn back on your front side, so turn your work on your front side and work 18 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, thir uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, this is how you have to continue on all around. So now, again, we work we skip into the next chain for space and work five single crochet, three, four and five. We skip into the next chain five space and work five single crochets plus the arch, three, four, five. To work the arch, ten, uh, eleven chains, turn, slip stitch in between five and five, so here. Then turn again on the front side and around the chain 11 you will uh, single crochet 18 times. You will have like this 8 petals. So in each second chain 4 you work the arch 2. I am al almost finished. I just want to show you 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I just want to show you how to finish. Actually, you just single crochet into the very first single crochet slip, uh, chain to secure and cut the yarn because we will work the next two rounds with another color. This is what we have. 
so far. This is this this is how it must look your fifth row round. And we will continue on with the sixth, which is again a little bit more difficult. But as you can see, it's not that difficult. Okay, so let's get started with our uh, sixth round. And we will begin the sixth round into one single crochet here. One of them. It's that. I can just go ahead a little bit like this so I can crochet over this to you know to okay so insert hook into the single crochet first single crochet of this 18 that we worked all around the chain 10 this is Pluto and I will work my double crochet as you know, single crochet, then another one, another single crochet, and one more. Okay, this is my first. Now chain two, skip one single crochet and double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip one single crochet and double crochet into the next chain two, skip one double crochet and one single crochet and one double crochet into the next. Now we have four, chain two, skip one single crochet and double crochet into the next. Now we have five. Stop here. Stop, stop, stop. And chain ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your work and into the double crochet that you just worked slip stitch to join chain one and turn now into the chain 10 here space we will work 18 single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So 18 single crochets. And now chain 2 and skip one single crochet into the next double crochet. So we continue with four more. Chain two, skip one single crochet into the next one single one double crochet chain two skip one single crochet into the next one double crochet chain two let's get work let's work the last double crochet and let's see what we have here this is what we have now into each of your second uh, petal you will work this chain 10 with 11 with 18 uh, single crochet so into this one we will work only the nine double crochet with chain two in between skipping one single crochet each into the next we will also work the chain 10 and the 18 single crochets look a little bit this oops this will be so it's this one two three and four this will be our corners okay so chain one skip into the next insert hook into the first single crochet it's not easy because it's so small here okay and a little bit too tight one double crochet chain two skip one single crochet one double crochet chain two skip one single crochet one double crochet chain two skip one single crochet again into the next one double crochet chain two now we work four skip one into the next work the fifth and we don't need to uh, stop here into the fifth and to work this we just continue on with four more we must have nine all around okay so in each second petal you will stop into the fifth double crochet and you will work 
10 single uh, 10 chain 10 10 sorry chain 10 and 18 double crochet single crochet all around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and here it is 9 okay this is what you have to chain and I will skip into the next and so on this is how you have to work all these sixth uh, round okay so you will repeat this and this all around so now that we finished the round uh, with the same color we continue so we just skip here into the first chain two space with a slip stitch chain one and single crochet okay we have the single crochet now we go like this chain four and single crochet into the next chain two space chain four and single crochet into the next chain two space chain four always chain four and single crochet into the next chain two space now before the corner so the 18 single crochet that we have here we must have three chain four spaces and we have them now we go to work we uh yes around this uh, 18 single crochet and we will work like this single crochet chain four skip one single crochet into the next single crochet chain four skip one single crochet into the next single crochet chain four skip one single crochet single crochet into the next chain four skip one single crochet single crochet into the next now we have one two three four and we go with the fifth skip one single crochet into the next and now on the other side we need to work four more so we have one two three four five and we will have nine one two three four skip one work a single crochet into the next one two three four skip one single crochet into the next this is the seventh one two three four skip one single crochet into the next the eighth and skip one into the last single crochet and let us control one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine so on one side we must have three around the corner we must have nine and of course on the other side other so we worked our nine chain four spaces on on the corner exactly so we, we must have nine then on the other side exactly as on this side we will have three so we skip with a single crochet directly into the first chain two space here so in between here the corner let's say and the other the chain two space and one double crochet chain two space we don't chain four so we just single crochet and then single crochet into the chain two space as we did here we finished here with a single crochet then we will just single crochet into the first single crochet of the 18 uh, all around and now we chain four single crochet into the next chain four single crochet into the next and chain four single crochet into the next and we have our one two three so three nine all around plus three more this is on this part on the arch on the side it's easier obvious because we will work seven on this nine chain two spaces so let's see how again we just skip into the chain two space we don't uh, chain four so we just skip here and we begin with three four single crochet into the next one two three four single crochet into the next one two three four single crochet into the next so we have one two three single crochet into the next single crochet into the next 
one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next, one, two, three, four, single crochet into the last, and now let's count, we must have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Repeat these two all around. So, this is what we have now. And we just need to complete with the last. Last um, round. Of course, after this last round, you can work a single crochet round in each stitch, one single crochet or half double crochet or double crochet, or just leave it as it is. Now, let's see. The most difficult stitch of this last round is this one. This one. So, let's see. Anyway, you have the graphic too, so don't worry. I will begin here into the fourth on the side into the fourth um, chain four space so we have one two three four and I will chain one and half double crochet and now chain two and into the very next double crochet into the very next stitch now let's see how to work those that that three Think that I show you. So we will skip all till the first of the corner, this one. And it's here that we will work the very first. Now let me show you how. We will chain two, yarn over two, three, four, five times. Skip here into this one, the first of the corner, first chain two space, and the yarn over pull through two, pull through two. It's exactly as like a normal double or triple crochet only that we go ahead one two three four five times this is the first now chain two yarn over one two three four five times we come back skipping one chain four space into the next here in the middle and we work like this yarn over pull through two pull through two now we want to search here one, two, three into the third. We insert and we kind of work like this. Pull the loop through and yarn over pull through like this. And then yarn over pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. Now the last part, chain two again, one, two, three, four, five. We skip one more and we insert hook into this one. And again, the same thing as we did with the second, we yarn over, uh, pull through two, two times. Then we go here in the middle and we just want to try. I will try to keep the yarn here like this. No, it is not good. Okay. Yarn over pull through one, two, three. And then yarn over pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two to finish the stitch. Okay, this is what we have. It's a little bit strange, but we can do it. Then chain two, skip one and work one double crochet. Now over the corner we will work on five uh, chain four spaces. This is the first and we will chain three in between. This is the second and we will have double crochet now. One, two, three. Into the third we will work one half double crochet, chain three and one more half double crochet into the same for the corner chain three, half double crochet into the next and we finish as we began, chain three, double crochet. This is exactly what we need to work on the corner. So over one, two, three, four, five. Then we skip one and now we have to work the same thing, this one here. So we skip one into this one we will work, we skip one into this one we will work, we skip one, 
we work the first stitch here. So skip one, one, skip one, one, skip one, into this one we work the very first. Chain two, one, two, three, four, five. It's here. The first of the side arch. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through <laughs> two, pull through two, and pull through last two. Yarn, uh, chain two, yarn over five times, two, three, four, five. And we go back, we skip one, we work into the next. One, two, stop here. One, two, three, we insert here the hook. Pull through one and then pull through three loops on the hook. Next three. Then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain two again. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one and insert hook into the next. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then here we will search for a small place here to insert our hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through three now, like this, and then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And this is exactly what we must have, and this is what we have. Okay, so now we will chain two again, and we will skip one, We are here. We skip one, we double crochet into the next, we chain two, half double crochet into the next, chain two, and double crochet into the next. And this is how we will continue on for this last beautiful, uh, as we go, as we add one more uh, round, it becomes more beautiful. I don't know. It's it's something extraordinary beautiful. This this square, not very easy, but extraordinary beautiful. So that's it. That's it. As I said, it's not very easy, but neither neither difficult. So you can just give it a try. Um, you will have you have the graphic on on the group. Uh, just below you have below this tutorial uh, you have the link of the group below all my tutorials you have it actually so you can just go ahead and um, watch it you can download it you have the tutorial the graphic and just give it a try I want to crochet something not only one item, but actually some more with this beautiful square. But you know, when you already learn once to work it, you will want to work it to work one and another one and another one. So uh, I will, I'm sure I I will came out with uh, come out something with something, some idea. So. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy, don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials and to like them and to share them with your friends on other show socials, on Facebook, Twitter, anywhere you want. For you it's nothing, for me it's very, very much. See you at the next tutorial, bye-bye!